<sighs> oh man, that was a good night's sleep. But if there's anything I like better than getting a good night's sleep, it's a good breakfast in the morning. All right, time to see what I can make. Hmm, most of the dishes are dirty. Uh, let's see. 9:47. Mm -hmm. Well, the only thing I really know how to make are sandwiches, but way too early to make a regular sandwich or make my specialty sandwich. I'm also on a diet. I need to lose a few ounces. Hmm, what can I make? Let's check in the pantry. Maybe we'll see if we can find it. Hmm... Pretty sure we got something right here. Let's mostly just... What's that? Mm. Mm. Skippy peanut butter. Hey! I think I read about a healthy peanut butter sandwich. Maybe we should make that for breakfast. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Peanut butter. You're about to end up on the sandwich. All right. All right, everyone. It's time I show you how to make some next spectacular peanut butter and banana sandwich. Mmm. So the ingredients we're gonna need are some bread, whatever choice you want. I won't judge what you pick. I'm gonna be using this. Peanut butter. I'm gonna be using Skippy's extra crunchy. But you're chunky. This is crunchy. Probably like cream, but this is all I've got, so you gotta make do what you do. Got a knife to cut the banana. Cutting board to cut the stuff off. Of course, we need the banana. It's an ingredient. And the spoon in order to smear the peanut butter onto the bread. So, first things first, you can get the bread out and get two slices and smear peanut butter on it. So, let's get started. Alright, there we go. Finish the tying it. So, get the bread. Come on. Power jump cuts. So next up, we got my stomach's not going. I'm getting hungry. So next up, we gotta do put the peanut butter on to the bread slices. And what, the first thing you might want to do before you do it is check to see the nutrition level to figure out how much you're gonna need. So the serving size is two tablespoons, 32 grams, and if you get two tablespoons, you get 190 calories. Since I'm on a diet, I usually like to just put one tablespoon and use it for both slices of bread. Peanut butter. Ugh, jump cut again. I'm not, I'm lefty. Ugh. <sighs> okay. That much peanut butter and then. Get off. Get off the spoon. Alright. Now we just gotta smear it all over the bread. Yeah. There we go. All peanut butter. Now I'm going to use the leftover peanut butter on the tablespoon and put it, or spoon, and put it on this bread, this slice of bread, and then smear that on. Get off the dang spoon! Alright, I'm going to smear it on too. Oh, there's still some. Hmm, now I can see why this is crunchy. We put peanuts in it. Alright, can you do that? So you're going to want to remember to sure the peanut butter in the sink of the spoon. Uh, rinse it off first. I believe it's still going to be convenient in place. Oh, I got to put on it. Ah, it's somebody else's problem, not mine. So after you assemble the main portion of the peanut butter, move your slice of bread over. Make room. Oh, I'm ripping it. Make room for the next step, the banana. So you're going to peel it and then cut it. I don't have fingers, so I'm going to need the power of jump because it's only peel this banana. Alright, well, we'll be right back. As you can see, I have finished peeling the banana. The power of my non-existent fingers. So that's a plus. Um, don't question why that thing looks oddly cut. There was some stuff I had to cut. Speaking of cut, your next step is to cut the banana. So we have to cut it. I'd say evenly. Proportions. It's all about the proportions. Get off. Just cut it nice and evenly. Add it onto the sandwich. I'm going to do a jump cut. It's not going to get easier. A knife with your not correct hand also while recording a video. I'll be right back. Alright, as you can see, I've cut the banana into 10 uh, sort of even pieces. There were 11, but that was a tip, and I don't know I'm going to eat the tip, so I just throw it away. Also, it make everything easier. So 
So now that we have... Itch. So now that we have 10 banana slices, all we have to do is put 5... Uh, 5 pieces onto each slice of bread. So... First piece... Repeat until you put five slices on each bread. And there. I think I got peanut butter on my shoes. Ugh. And right here. Oh. Alright, so now we gotta do the next slice. I'll be back with you in a second. As you guys can see, I have successfully put all 10 slices of banana onto the sandwich. Now all it has to do is to assemble it. It's going to carefully place it on. Peanut butter will help in making the banana slices stick. And here, we got to do it fast. I won't be able to show you how fast because I am holding a camera on my right hand and a plushie of myself in the other hand. So I'm going to jump ahead to my assemble the sandwich. But it should look something like that. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Alright. And voila, you have made a, you have successfully made a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Now, in case you guys want to wonder, I use the banana as a substitute instead of jelly because jelly has a lot of sugar and uh, piles onto fat. So, yeah, healthy a substitute. I'm trying to lose a few ounces. So I can just look in the side and get some bananas, peanut butter, all good. Now, I'll be back with you guys in a sec. I gotta clean up my kitchen area, my cleaning area, my cooking area. I'll be right back. Alright everyone, I am back from assembling, or cleaning up my cleaning area. I have also decided to get the rest of my breakfast. So here we have the main course, the peanut butter and banana sandwich. Of course we got some nice fruit. So always remember to make sure you have a nice balanced breakfast. So I got some fruit, nectarine, I also got some yogurt, a nice little treat, nothing too sugary. And usually you would drink milk, but I'm um, trying to stay off of the milk. If you're gonna drink soy milk or almond milk, you'd be like, but well, I'm just gonna have a nice glass of water right over here. So, and that's it. That's how you have successfully made and prepared a peanut butter banana sandwich. I hope you guys enjoy this. And maybe you guys, since we're all in quarantine, maybe eating a lot of chips and stuff, you can try something new. I tried it, and it's pretty good. It's something new, it's healthy and tasty. That's my motto. Not really, it's not my motto. But anyway, I'm going to sit back and enjoy my breakfast. Remember guys, a healthy hedgehog is a happy hedgehog. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like this video. And stay tuned, because our anniversary is coming up soon. And we have a big project to find out. So, stay on the lookout for that. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody. Sonic the Hedgehog, out.